This film is an unauthorized exploration into the life of Rakeem Allen, known by his stage name PMB Rock. The perspectives in this film are independently gathered and do not represent the official views or endorsements of Atlantic Records, New Lane Entertainment, his estate, or any associated parties. Shout out to our Patreon members, Vasil, William50, J453, True Ingram, Martin C, Roly Rockin, Mount Font, Yes To It, Kel Corley, Kamisha Williams, Zanetta Johnson, Cheryl Mingo, Extra Grand TV, Ivory Williams, Miracle Joy, James Jackson, Antoine Frost, and Ollie Russian. Well, a well-known Philadelphia rapper is behind bars for allegedly selling drugs in Ben Salem. This, this came in through the mail. It, it's unwrapped cat food or tuna can. It's a small can, and this is how it was sent from California. So he was picking this up and then certainly distributing it into the Delaware Valley to folks. PNB Rock and a female resident are being held on $500,000 bail. I don't know what the fuck they was talking about. It wasn't me. What the fuck I look like? I'm selling drugs. Never. Sh never worry. You're four pounds? How much money you gonna have? have? Four pounds. Sh never worry. Who you done ran down on, robbed, none of that shit, bro. It never happened to me and it's never gonna happen. I haven't been robbed. I haven't been ran down on. Cause there's no. Fifty-nine. We believe that's when the 911 call came in. What we do know right now, police say, is that the suspect walked in through the front doors of this Roscoe's and directly approached that victim that was eating with a female. Apparently some sort of verbal altercation happened and that is when shots were fired. Disturbing video of his surfaced on social media sparking outrage because many people were seen pulling out their phones instead of applying pressure to his wounds. I have a problem with someone filming and not helping that young. Fox 11 has learned the alleged teen man was just out of jail and wearing an ankle monitor, which should have gone off once he left his home. Investigators believe a man who fist bumped PNB Rock as he entered the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles last year was the one who tipped off PNB Rock's location and possibly supplied the weapon used in his passing. Sources said this in the court documents. Born Rakim Allen on December 9th, 1991, he grew up in Philadelphia's Germantown neighborhood. He spent his childhood in and out of shelters with his single mother and four siblings. Growing up in the city of Philly, it was not easy for the young PMB. At the young age of only three years old, he lost his father to violence in the streets which resulted in him being raised primarily by his mother. Around the time, PMB was born in the inner city of Philadelphia during the early 1990s, specifically around 1991 to 1993. It was marked by significant social, economic, and cultural dynamics. The city faced economic difficulties, including high unemployment rates, especially in the inner city neighborhoods. Many industrial jobs had declined contributing to financial hardships. It was significant poverty, particularly in the African-American and Hispanic communities. Philadelphia experienced high levels of crime and violence during this period. The city was grappling with issues related to drugs and gang activity. The crap epidemic was at its peak, leading to increased crime rates and contributing to the decline of quality of life in many neighborhoods. Many parts of the inner city Philadelphia suffered from urban decay, Abandoned buildings and vacant lots were common sites. Housing conditions were often poor, with many residents living in substandard conditions. During that time for hip-hop, artists like DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince Will Smith brought national attention to the city's music culture. The city's local hip-hop scene was vibrant, with many underground artists and DJs contributing to the cultural landscape. PMB Rock's mother obviously was influenced by the music as she named her son after the rapper Rakim. Rakim is a pioneer rapper 
and one half of the iconic duo Eric B. and Rakim. Emerging in the late 1980s, he is known for his intricate lyricism, complex rhyme schemes, and smooth delivery. Their debut album, Paid in Full in 1987, is considered a classic and has a significant influence on hip-hop. Rakim's work often explores the themes of knowledge, spirituality, and social issues, solidifying his status as one of the greatest MCs in the rap. His impact on hip-hop still continues to resonate. During an interview with The Fader, Rock explained during his high school years that he didn't have much, but he made up for it by being a class clown. Not only funny, but a ladies' man in school. Around the age of 13 years old, he was sent to a youth detention program for committing robberies and fighting in school. Since his father was gone at such a young tender age, PNB Rock looked up to his uncle as a father figure. At the age of 15 years old, he would then lose his uncle after someone took his life in those cold, hard Philly streets. According to Rock, he says this made him dive deep into the streets. Four years later, at the age of 19 years old, PNB Rock was sentenced to a little under three years in prison. PNB Rock was homeless for a short period after being released from prison. He never finished high school. Allen later adopted the stage name PNB Rock, which paid homage to the street corners where he grew up in Philly, Germantown to be exact. Uh, your name, PNB Rock. PNB. How did you get that? Instagram. Okay. I came home, you know, I got an Instagram, you feel like everybody from around my area, it's PNB, past stories and beating. Okay. It's like an intersection in Germantown, so everybody from around my way got PNB in front of their name. While in prison, PNB Rock gathered the confidence to make music. He always could sing, but didn't think it was appropriate while he was in the streets. He felt like people would side eye him. PNB Rock released his first mixtape, Real Bangers, in 2014. This debut project marked the beginning of his career in the music industry and helped him gain recognition. The mixtape was written while he was incarcerated, reflecting on his personal experiences and issues. The mixtape was well received, particularly in his hometown of Philadelphia. The mixtape showcases unique blend of melodic rap, R&B, which helped him stand out in the crowded music scene. Although it didn't achieve mainstream success, it generated a huge buzz, especially locally, and laid the foundation for his future career. The mixtape's raw and authentic storytelling resonated with listeners, and it helped PMB Rock build a loyal fan base. His ability to convey his personal experiences, struggles, and emotions through his music was praised, and the realness became a hallmark of his style. The positive reception of the Real Bangers mixtape eventually led him to being signed by Atlantic Records, further propelling his career. In 2015, PMB would sign with Atlantic Records for an undisclosed amount. Following his signing, PMB Rock released his mixtape R&B 3 which includes his hit single Jealous featuring Fetty Wap. The mixtape helped him gain further attention and increase his fan base. For the year of 2016, PMB released the single Selfish, which became a major hit, peaking at number 51 on the Billboard's Hot 100. The song specifically boosted his visibility and established him as a rising star in the hip-hop and R&B scenes. In late of 2016, he released the mixtape GTTM, Going Through the Motions, which included Selfish and featured other popular tracks. The mixtape received positive reviews and further solidified his reputation. This mixtape would eventually be released as a commercial mixtape, debuting at number 28 on the Billboard's 200 chart. In 2017, PMB collaborated with various of artists, contributing to tracks by Kodak Black and A Boogie with the Hoodie. His collaboration with Kodak Black too many years was very successful. It was revealed that PMB Rock and A Boogie with the Hoodie had a close relationship. That same year, the pair had an incident where they allegedly jumped Lil B at the Rolling Loud Fest in the Bay Area of California. According to Lil B, he said something about A Boogie's music that he did not like. The altercation happened backstage at the festival. A group of men, reportedly including PNB Rock and other associates, attacked Lil B, leaving him beating and bruised. Oh 
Lil B even hit the stage after the fight to reveal what had just happened backstage. Despite the attack, Lil B took a non-violent stance. He addressed the situation on social media, stating that he forgave his attackers and advocated for peace. His response was praised by many in the music community for his positivity and maturity. Later on, PMB Rock revealed that he had no beef with Lil B. He just happened to be with A Boogie and his entourage helped A Boogie. I thought, right, I'm gonna keep it 100. Yeah. I thought that little B sh I thought that was keeping it real. To, like where we come from, I thought that was keeping it real. He was talking crazy, kind of disrespectful the way we did it because we did it in somebody else's hometown, whatever. But I found that like one plus one equal two. If we leave each other right now, you go on the internet, oh, this guy, this, this, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga. Before the music should happen, and even if I'm in school with a nigga, for me, <laughs> it's the same thing. It's a fight. Like, halves. In 2008, the paths of PNB Rock and Stephanie, a model and entrepreneur, crossed paths marking the beginning of a profound relationship. Their meeting was spontaneous, blossoming from mutual circles within the entertainment industry. Both shared a passion for music, fashion, and the vibrant culture surrounding their careers. Their relationship quickly became a central part of their lives, highlighted by their frequent appearances together in public and on social media. PNB Rock, known for his openness and realness, often shared glimpses of their life together with his fans. Whether it was intimate moments at home, adventurous trips, or heartfelt dedications on their social media, it was filled with snapshots of their journey together. Stephanie, an accomplished businesswoman with her own fashion line, brought a dynamic energy to the relationship. She supported PNB Rock's career, attending his concerts, celebrating his success, and being a constant source of inspiration. In return, PMB Rock often expresses admiration for her entrepreneurial spirit and creativity. During this year, it was said that PMB Rock and his girlfriend Stephanie started to date. The girlfriend would stay by PMB Rock's side even during his last seconds alive. It was known for the couple to post instantly on social media, whether it be pictures or videos. A year after, in May of 2019, PMB Rock released his second studio album. Trap star turned pop star. The album featured artists like Lil Durk, T Grizzly, XX Tatincion, and A Boogie with the Hoodie. It debuted at number four on the Billboard 200, making a significant achievement in his career. Two months after, PMB Rock would run into some legal trouble an hour away from his hometown of Philadelphia. Him and his girlfriend were arrested in Buck County. In August of 2019, he went viral for this arrest. The search warrant obtained by an investigation that began in early of 2018, when the police received numerous of complaints of loud parties and a constant smell of tree coming from the residence. Patrol officers also smelled the weed coming from the residence. The police department's special unit conducted a follow-up investigation and developed probable cause that that resident identified as Rakeem Allen was selling weed. Well, a well-known Philadelphia rapper is behind bars for allegedly selling drugs in Ben Salem. Officers searched a home belonging to PNB Rock yesterday after receiving noise complaints. They allegedly found drug power, a stolen handgun, and more than thirty-three thousand dollars and four pounds of. It's interesting about this. This came in through the mail. It, it's unwrapped cat food or tuna can. It's a small can, and this is how it was sent from California. So he was picking this up and then certainly distributing it into the Delaware Valley to folks. PNB Rock and a female resident are being held on $500,000 bail on a number of charges. Him and his girlfriend would eventually be released on a $100,000 bail. Slat! Slat! You look dirty as shit. You got the drip? Why they booked you in your drip? What's up, babe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was fake. Don't believe the media. You heard me? I don't know what the fuck they talking about. I make music. You heard me? I make hits. I don't do nothing else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, what's up? <laughs> yeah, they talking about this prison bag. <laughs> they freed my dog. Yes, sir. Out of there. <laughs> fuck is a hundred thousand to make. Shit. Oh, it was tweaking though, you heard me? <laughs> this shit don't stop. 
Uh, I appreciate the love, though, for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that was worried about us and all that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that reached out to the people. It's my you a dickhead. <laughs> I don't know who the f told y'all. Listen, if you send any cash app funds, I think you need to get that shit back, yeah, because that shit was never the case, yeah. I, mean, I don't know what the f niggas was talking about. Yeah, uh, hit cash app and get your shit back. Fuck a 23 and 1 or 23 and 9. It wasn't even 24, yeah. You know what I mean? I watch. They had niggas at my door talking about, you good? Every hey, five, minutes. five minutes. I'm like, I'm sleep. The f nigga, let me sleep this shit off. You know, my dick nigga keep knocking on my mother. You feel me? I'm like, yo, y'all gotta chill. I gotta. They thinking I'm about to eat that bullshit. I'm like, listen, I'm fresh off some. What we was at? Moist to a boy tie and some shit. Like, fuck out of here. We just was eating lavish. <laughs> I, like, I don't wanna eat this bullshit. Hey, nah, we had room service. Hey, though. Toyo. Yeah, we, in had our, in our, in our, we had room service. We had room service. I was in the penthouse suite. You heard me in the jail cell. They had me in the biggest cell. Hey, Ward, <laughs> what are they talking about? He's talking about not me. Hey, Ward, you already know how this shit. I'm carrying this shit every day. You feel me? I've been waiting to see you out. Yeah, man, I appreciate all the love, too. Real shit. Like, I don't know what the f they was talking about. It wasn't me. What the f I look like? I'm selling drugs. Never. She never wear it. Four pounds? It's she never gonna have like four pounds. She never wear it. We smoke for a pound <laughs> in a couple <of> weeks. <laughs> y'all see my hair tie, she man? She made this in jail, y'all. Look, <laughs> I'm some panties. <laughs> they had me wearing the tidy whites. I had the slingshots on, you heard me? I was, them jaws was baggy as shit, too, you <laughs> They gave me 2X everything, bro. I'm like, hey, cuz, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not no fucking 2X, bro. I'm little as shit. They like, man, that's all we got for you. Two months after, PMB Rock would go viral again. December of 2019, PMB Rock was involved in an altercation at a Neiman Marcus store in the King of Prussia Mall, located in Pennsylvania. World Star! World Star! Here we are. World Star. Following the fight, mall security and local law enforcement were involved. The police arrived at the scene to address the situation and ensure safety of other shoppers and staff in the store. It was reported that PNB Rock and other individuals involved in the altercation were detained and questioned by the police. However, details about the formal charges or legal consequences were not publicized. For the year of 2020, it was a year of adaptation and resilience for PMB Rock. He continued to release music, engage with fans, and navigate the challenges because of that COVID pandemic. His focus on family and maintaining a positive lifestyle helped him stay focused and grounded during this difficult year. With his ongoing musical efforts, he ensured that he remained a prominent figure in the industry. At the start of the year, TMZ reported that he smashed into three cars and wrecked his BMW during a street race. This is according to the cops who busted him for driving under the influence. Law enforcement sources told TMZ that the rapper was arrested for suspicion of DUI and reckless driving in Burbank, California. After officers say they saw him plowing into a row of cars, an officer with the Burbank Police Department was on a 300 block of Almeda Avenue on an unrelated car around 12.15 a.m. when he reported he saw two cars racing down the street. It's estimated that the vehicles were going around 100 miles per hour. Shortly into the race, one of the cars, a white BMW sedan, struck three vehicles parked along Amida Avenue. Two officers also in the area saw the collision take place, according to a statement from the police department, Sergeant Derek Green. One of the cars ended up on his side and the other vehicle included in the race took off from the scene. Green said a woman was seated in a parked vehicle and suffered minor injuries. She was treated at the scene. 
When officers contacted the driver of the BMW, they reportedly smelled weed on him and found him in the possession of the drug. The driver was with another man who was sitting in the front passenger seat of the car and suffered serious injuries, according to Green. When paramedics arrived to treat the man, they saw that he was wearing a black bag across his chest that needed to be removed. The passenger gave officers consent to remove and search the bag. Inside the bag, the officers found a fully loaded weapon. The driver of the vehicle was then taken into custody and identified as 28-year-old Rakim Allen, also known as PMB Rock. He was arrested for suspicion of driving under the influence and reckless driving. Authorities also impounded his white BMW. PMB Rock was eventually released on a $100,000 bail later in the day. The injured passenger was identified as a 22-year-old from Philadelphia who remains hospitalized. The sergeant says that he was not booked because of his injuries, but he was given a citation for carrying a loaded weapon. Now, in 2021, still fighting that previous case in 2019, he entered an open guilty plea for one count of possession with the intent to deliver and one count of receiving stolen property. PMB was sentenced to 36 months of probation on each count, and the sentences were to be ran concurrently. He also was ordered to complete 100 hours of community service, and his supervision was permitted to be transferred to California. In May of 2022, he released Eyes Open with LBLVNC. He released Toxic with Trippy Red July of 2022. Lastly, PMB Rock released his final set of music two weeks before he passed. It was released on September 2nd of 2020. He dropped the track which was entitled Love Me Again. PMB Rock participated in several interviews in 2022, providing insights into his music, his personal life, and career. Some notable interviews include DJ Academics. In this DJ Academics interview, PMB Rock discussed his career, upcoming projects, and personal experience. Lastly, on the Bootleg Kev podcast, he discussed music, his recent release, thoughts on the music industry. During two interviews, PMB Rock spoke about the, the recent uptick of robberies going on in Los Angeles. Both interviews, he admitted how he was almost robbed several times in LA previously, but he explained that his experience helped him get out of those robberies. Who you done ran down on, robbed, none of that shit, bro. It never happened to me, it's never gonna happen. I haven't been robbed. I haven't been ran down on. Cause niggas know. Look, come correct. Try to rob me a couple of times. That shit, niggas getting blicked on, bro. This is getting blicked on. Niggas take my little brother chain. Got smoke right on the spot. Bah! On the morning of September 12th, 2022, PMB Rock started his day by sharing moments of his life with his fans on Instagram. His posts filled with the night before and a glimpse of his latest music project. Posts were positive and showed enthusiasm for PMB Rock for being in the music industry. Now, out of all of these posts, none of them had any hints on what was about to unfold for PMB Rock. Came up here and went on, crazy. Everybody. Load me up, man. Jokes up, ski. Come on, man. Shout out to everybody that got these strands, man. You know, this shit really that, man. Cause it's a nice little pack. I ain't even need all this. I'm gonna keep it all. Now around 1.15 local time, PMB Rock and his girlfriend Stephanie sat down to have lunch at the Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles in Los Angeles. Stephanie posted the food as it arrived at the table and posted on her Instagram with over 600,000 followers tuning in. Five minutes later, around 1.20 p.m., a suspect entered the restaurant. The individual approached PMB Rock 
targeted him specifically in what appeared to be a robbery attempt. The assailant demanded jewelry and other valuables from PNB Rock. In the midst of the robbery, a confrontation occurred and PNB Rock was shot multiple times. Witnesses described the scene as chaotic as people inside the restaurant were reacting to what just happened. After the incident, the suspect fled the scene, leaving PNB Rock critically injured. Stephanie and other bystanders attempted to assist him as emergency services were called. PNB Rock was on the restaurant's floor, fighting for his life as locals tried to figure out a solution to help the Philly rapper. Paramedics arrived quickly and administrated first aid to PMB Rock before transporting him to a local hospital. Despite their efforts, PMB Rock succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced gone later that day. News of the incident spread rapidly, first throughout social media and then the news outlets. Developing news in Inglewood, a shooting at a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle restaurant. TMZ is reporting the victim is rapper PNB Rock. CBS 2's Leslie Marine is live at the scene now. And Leslie, what have you learned? Well, Pat, I can tell you right now that police have said out of respect for the victim's family, as well as uh, people he may know, they are not IDing the victim, but that is correct. There are reports, TMZ reporting, that this person that has died is rapper PNB Rock, a Philadelphia rapper. And I want to show you the scene right now behind me. Take a look. This is a pretty famous location. Many people come here. It's the Roscoe's here on Manchester and Maine in the Green Meadows area. Area, and you can see right now, well, the parking lot completely taped off as investigators as well as uniformed officers are not only outside, but we've seen a lot of them inside as well, uh, pretty much gathering any evidence they can because we know this suspect did take off. I do want to get to some citizen video that we have from just moments after happened inside that Roscoe's. You can see the commotion as police had rushed here just around 1 p.m. this afternoon. I should say right before 2 p.m. Really, it happened at 1:59. We believe that's when the 911 call came in. What we do know right now, police say, is that the suspect walked in through the front doors of this Roscoe's and directly approached that victim that was eating with a female. Apparently some sort of verbal altercation happened and that is when shots were fired. Police say before that suspect took off. Take a listen. They say he actually grabbed items from the victim. As they were eating, at least one suspect came and approached them with a firearm and demanded the victim's property. The, there was some sort of verbal exchange at this point. Uh, we are not able to get audio in the investigation, um, but then the suspect shot the victim several times. The victim then fell to the ground and the suspect removed some items from the victim. Now back out here, live police did tell us that that suspect actually ran out of the store or out of the restaurant and right to a getaway car. But they say they do not have a description of that vehicle. They did tell me that they do have video from inside the Roscoe. So they're able to see all of this happen, but they just aren't able to really hear what unfolded at this moment. Now, uh, I could tell you that we did speak to a gentleman that says he was the one that gave this victim chest compressions, tried to help him until an ambulance could get here. And he says he was devastated to hear that he had died. Of course, we will have more from him and more of what we're learning from police as well as other people in this community later tonight at 8, 9, 10 on KCAL 9 and back here at 11 on CBS 2. For now, Pat, back to you. All right. Thank you, Leslie. Dang. It really 
had the late, really had the little joint going on right here. So, oh boy, got shot, huh? Chicken and waffles in peace. We're right here on Main in Manchester in LA. Said a lady got caught. A lady got caught? She got caught. But did he get <laughs> Expect a traffic delay going east. It's real heavy on that side. That's crazy. Blessings to the family and everybody who was involved. I hope everybody all right. Fans, fellow artists, and the wider music community expressed their shock and grief at the sudden loss of PMB Rock. Law enforcement launched an investigation into the robbery, reviewing surveillance footage and gathering witnesses' testimonies to identify and apprehend the suspect. Following the news of PMB Rock's dying, social media users quickly identified Stephanie's post and began to speculate that it may have provided information to the potential assailants. They insinuated that the location tag she posted was seen by some of the potential factors in the attack leading to the wave of criticism and blame directly towards Stephanie. Nicki Minaj posted on her social media, which looked at like a potential shot towards Stephanie, PM Rock's girlfriend. After Pop Smoke, there's no way as rappers or our loved ones are still posting locations to our whereabouts. To show waffles and some fried chicken, he was such a pleasure to work with. Condolences to his mom and family. This just makes me feel so sick. Hashtag SIP, hashtag PMB Rock. Cardi B, on the contrary, defended the girlfriend. She says, I highly doubt they were looking at PNB's baby mama's IG. He was in a bad location and people stay outside plotting. It's very irresponsible and inconsiderate to blame her for something so bad. We should be sending her nothing but love to her and her family at this time. J Prince also responded. He says, RIP to PNB Rock and my condolences to his family, friends, and fans. So all you dumb people blame his girlfriend for his passing, you're wrong as two left shoes. Here's a woman that has been traumatized by seeing her boyfriend pass in front of her. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, where PNB Rock spent his last moments, is located in South Los Angeles. This area has a complex history of reputation, with some neighbors being particularly known for higher crime rates. The area is also known for gang activity, with several well-known gangs operating in the region. This has contributed to both violent and non-violent crimes, including robberies and drug-related offenses. South Los Angeles, including the area around Roscoe's, has higher crime rates compared to other areas of the city. Crimes can range from petty theft, vandalism, to more serious offenses like armed robbery and assault. Visitors to the area are often advised to be cautious, especially at night, and to stay aware of their surroundings. The neighborhood has a reputation of being extremely dangerous, and it stems from the higher crime rates and history of gang activity. 
Some say PMB Rock was eaten in the ghetto and did not realize he was in a bad area until it was too late. A week later on September 21st, 2022, PMB Rock was laid to rest in a Muslim style memorial. The memorial took place in Philly, 1924 West Hunton Park Avenue. The service sheet showed a photo of Rock and lovely memory of Rakim Allen on the front included a copy of the Janaza prayer. The service was attended by XX Detention's mother, Cleopatra Bernard, with the two rappers previously collaborating on songs such as Middle Child, Smash, and Bad Vibes Forever. In the days following his passing, PMB Rock's brother, PMB Mean, claimed that Los Angeles officials were making it difficult to recover his body, and he wasn't sure where the funeral would take place. Philadelphia rapper PNB Rock was shot and killed yesterday in South Los Angeles, and as police there try to track down a suspect, members of the music industry here are processing what happened and remembering this man and his talent. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez is live at the Fillmore in Fishtown. Aliana. But Jim, PNB Rock performed his last show in Philadelphia here at the Fillmore for what he called a homecoming. And now Live Nation is paying tribute to the rapper outside the venue to honor his memory. That's what it means for PNB Rock making it off his block. It meant hope to all the young men just like him on his block. We spoke with Uncle O, a former Power 99 radio personality outside the Fillmore in Fishtown. He says he knew the rapper long before his popular songs Fleek and Selfish hit the airwaves. God bless his family. I'm praying for his family. Philadelphia City Councilman Kenyatta Johnson tweeted this picture of the two of them at a Stop the Violence rally, saying, quote, he moved to L.A. to chill and get away from this environment and to enjoy and pursue his music career. His unique look and artistry also caught the attention of Mark Bryant at an open mic night many years ago. And any time he came to Philly, it was always love. So any console he was at, I was there and he would go out his way. He didn't have to. PNB Rock was reportedly shot and killed yesterday inside the popular Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles restaurant in South Los Angeles. Disturbing video of his death surfaced on social media, sparking outrage because many people were seen pulling out their phones instead of applying pressure to his wounds. I have a problem with someone filming and not helping that young. Friends say remember him because of his talent and the impact he left on this city not how he died. Be different, stay positive, right? Let's just spread love and you know, he was one of our Philly greats. Los Angeles police are still searching for the killer as the investigation continues. Here in Philadelphia, Councilmember Kenyatta Johnson says he will introduce a resolution on Thursday to honor the life and legacy of PNB Rock. Reporting live outside the Fillmore in Fishtown tonight, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6, Action News, Jim. A janaza is a Muslim practice that involves individuals being buried within 24 hours of their passing. According to TMZ, PMB Rock's mother flew from Philly to Los Angeles as soon as she learned of his passing. Identifying her son and demanding the medical examiner to release Rock's body that day to honor their religious funeral ritual. The examiner allegedly refused and said that his body couldn't be released as it was a part of an ongoing investigation. Sources claim that an argument between PMB Rock's mother and the medical examiner grew so heated, police were called to the premises to de-escalate the situation. Rock's body was reportedly ready to be released Friday, September 16th. In the weeks following the passing of PMB Rock, the music community and fans worldwide mourned the loss of the talented artist. Amidst the grief, law enforcement worked hard to bring those responsible to justice. The investigation into the robbery at the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles were thorough, relentless, the detectives piecing together evidence, reviewing surveillance footage, and following leads. Finally, a breakthrough came. The suspects who had evaded the capture initially were apprehended through a combination of diligent police work and community assistance. The arrest marked a significant step towards justice for PMB Rock and his loved ones offering a measure of closure in the wake in such of a senseless act of violence. Almost a year later, three individuals, including a father and son, have been charged in the passing of the rapper. Freddie Lee Trone, four years old, was arrested in Las Vegas, while his 17-year-old son, who was allegedly the one who robbed PMB Rock, was apprehended in Lawndale. Court documents indicate that Trone's son was armed, masked, and demanded jury from PMB Rock, who was dining with his girlfriend. The teen shot the rapper multiple times before stealing his jury, valued at hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
Freddie Trone is accused of being the getaway driver and his wife Chantel Trone, 38 years old, faces charges as an accessory after the fact. Both father and son were charged for unaliving PNB Rock in the conspiracy to commit robbery. The teen's name remains undisclosed due to his minor status. A father is in custody along with his 17-year-old son and the boy's stepmother. They're being charged with murder A rapper PNB Rock. He was shot and killed during a robbery at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in South L.A. earlier this month. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo has more on the trio of suspects. She joins us now live from Compton. Christy. Now, one of the suspects, Chantel Trone, was arraigned here at the Compton Courthouse earlier today. The 17-year-old, whose name is not being released because he is a minor, was also arraigned in juvenile court. And his father was on the run until today. A family under arrest, 40-year-old Freddie Trone, no longer a fugitive, caught by police in Las Vegas. The LAPD says he was the getaway driver, and his 17-year-old son was the who earlier this month shot in Rapper PMB Rock, while he was eating lunch at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in South LA with his girlfriend. The LAPD believes the duo was after the rapper's expensive jewelry and may have been tipped off to his whereabouts by a social media post. His provoking outrage and calls for justice. He was a guest in our community and was down, down by cowardly acts. Also likely to turn heads, Fox 11 has learned the alleged teen man was just out of jail and wearing an ankle monitor, which should have gone off once he left his home. Court's going to go on the record, call the matter of people versus Chantel Trone. Also in custody, Freddie Trone's 38-year-old wife, Chantel, who choked back tears during her arraignment in Compton. Police have not said her involvement, but she pled not guilty to charges of being an accessory after the fact. Chantel Trone is due back in court on October 13th. As for Freddie Lee Trone, he could be arraigned as early as tomorrow. Now, we did check jailhouse records, and it shows that someone with the same name and the same age was arrested back in August and was released in March of this year from county jail. But those records did not say on what charges. Live in Compton, Chrissy Fajardo, Fox 11 News. Weeks after it was reported that new defendants, Tremont Jones, and Wanisha Evans appeared in court Monday as at the documents revealed that the authorities believe Jones alerted the people of the rapper's location and it was not the girlfriend's Instagram post. Investigators believe a man who fist bumped PNB Rock as he entered the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles last year was the one who tipped off PNB Rock's location and possibly supplied the weapon used in his passing. Sources said this in the court documents. Another new defendant, Juanisha Evans, also was arrested in May and charged with the accessory after the fact. Prosecutors allege that she drove Freddie Trone from Los Angeles to Las Vegas after the passing to help him escape the public manhunt, according to court filings. All five defendants have pled not guilty. As of now, the case is not solved and all five are perceived innocent until proven guilty.